Hey everybody, there's something I just can't wrap my head around since this arrest of this miserable human being. And that's the fact that if you remember one of my videos that I had up before about my source who was in jail with Kagan Klein, that source states that Kagan Klein says that Kagan told him that him and his dad were parked near or at the bridge that day on February 13th. And this person has since contacted me after this happened and reassured me that that's what Kagan told him. Now, obviously, Kagan could just be totally BSing about all of that. But my question to you is this. Why, why would he? Unless he was there. I'm wondering if law enforcement didn't confront him with that information about his cellmate in mid-October or early October and said, hey, listen, Kagan, there's people who are saying that you were there at the crime scene and that are saying that that's what you said and that your dad was there and uh, maybe you should tell us now what the, what really happened or what you know or who this person is that you were sharing Dropbox information with. Uh, otherwise, you know, maybe you're going to take the rap for this. Uh, maybe something broke him. I'm not saying that's what happened. And the other thing that fascinates me is, boy, we found out that suspect Richard, I won't even say his last name, they searched his property and dug multiple places at his property on October 13th. Yet, despite that, he wasn't arrested until October 26th. Now, I'm just wondering, that this, this guy probably thinks he's narcissistic and egotistical enough that he's smarter than police, that he's going to get out of this at trial, too. It's just all disgusting when you think about it. And I wonder what he was doing for 13 days when he knew the police had already been to his house or what was going through his mind. I'm almost kind of shocked he didn't try and off himself, but again, he's so narcissistic from what I understand about him so far that, that he's not going out that way and he'll probably never admit to any of this either. I hope I'm wrong, but it's just disgusting. It really, really is. I just wanted to share my thoughts on that. I also have another theory I'm going to post later on. Um, you know, what if, what if uh, R.A. Richard went out to the bridge that day you know, he's got some mental issues going on. He drinks. Maybe he was thinking about taking his own life. Maybe that's why he's out on the bridge that day. Maybe the girl say something snotty to him. He just snaps. I mean, who knows? There's a million different possibilities, and I can't wait to see how they eventually unfold because, boy, the, the police were so right about everything. This person being right under their nose. I, I, I just want to know... Like Doug Carter says, are there other people that were involved in this, even if they weren't the ones who committed the actual crime? And why would Kagan Klein put himself at the scene of the crime? Again, my witness has doubled down since this has happened and told me, you know, hey, this is what Kagan actually told me in jail. Unless he's just trying to mess with investigators, but, you know, why implicate yourself? So there may still be more to this case. And it's it's crazy, I think, when we find out all the twists and turns once it unfolds, I think we're going to be shocked. Have a great day, everybody.